Previously on Checkmate, we went outdoors and explored the possibilities in the marketplace. We bid farewell to Himani and Tanushree, which brings us down to the final six in this semi-final round of Checkmate 2.0, the hunt for the smartest young executive in the Middle East. Welcome to the semi-final episode of Checkmate 2.0. Hunt for the smartest young executive in the Middle East will end very, very soon. One of you will earn that title. So, welcome, guys. Just to put that into perspective, we have a one is to two ratio right now. We have six of you in this room, the top six. And can I just say this? The top six with the most amount of hunger and fire in their belly and the most deserving by far. We have three internships up for grabs at the end of this. Rack Bank is waiting for you. Byyouth.com can't wait to get that exciting new intern. And Colors TV Middle East is going to give you so many opportunities to learn. So let that be the focus of everything you do in this task. But to reach there, you'll have to clear the semi-finals. So give it your best, you guys. All right? Yes. Now, this is an interesting mix of people. Some of you have fought really hard to be here. Some of you have aced the last couple of games. And some of you made it here absolutely by chance. Twinkle, let's start with you. You get eliminated in the first episode, and then you come back in the quarterfinal. And here you are today in the top six. It reminds me a little bit of uh, Snakes and Ladders. <laughs> Somehow, you managed to find that ladder right up to the top and some of the snakes didn't quite make it. I'm really glad to be a part of the top six and uh, definitely this is like a second chance and it's my luck, clearly, that I've got this chance and I really want to prove this time. So, I'm just hoping to ace these two tasks and get the title of Checkmate 2.0. Absolutely. Kudos to your confidence. Thank you. Lokesh, do you agree with that? Yes, I do. I was a little surprised when she came for the last task, um, but when I saw her work, I could see that spirit she came in with. She deserved it. All right, to start our semi-final episode, it's time for team formations. Yesterday's top performers, Divya, Mustafa, you know the drill, take a step forward. Mustafa, why don't you walk on my right? And Divya, why don't you just stay there and select your first team member? So, my first team member will be Saras. <laughs> I'll take Twinkle. Twinkle. Divya, I'm gonna go for Lokesh. And I guess I get Nickel. Nickel. Of course, you have absolutely no idea what today's task is gonna be about. <laughs> All right, teams have been formed. Team A, Team B. It's time to choose your captain. You got exactly one minute to do that, and your time, of course, starts now. All right, that was really quick. Teammate, who's your captain? Divya. And uh, Mustafa, you were mentioning you've never been a captain before in this season. This season, so this is my first time, and I kind of gave the option to the guys if they wanted to take over, which I didn't mind. Teammates, anything specific you're looking at from Divya? What do you expect her to be like as a leader? I think she's well equipped and the um, most important thing you need is for a leader to be calm, to be poised and I think we've seen those characteristics throughout. So in the last couple of episodes, you went down in the real world to sell your products. And we all know how that went. If you did a little better market research, to know your TG better, to know your target audience better, I'm sure you agree, you would have done much, much better than what you did. Well, great, because that's what today's task is all about. Understanding your target group. Or what we know as market research. So good luck, everybody. Since today's task is all about market research, we decided to get the best in the business to help us out with this particular task and to judge both teams. Kantar TNS is uh, the largest global market research agency in the world. 
They employ more than a thousand people in 19 countries across Africa and the Middle East. And to represent Kanta TNSME, we've got the general manager who's got 17 years of insight and consulting experience on both client and the agency side. Let's hear it for Savan Prasad. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Pleasure to have you. Welcome to the show, Mr. Savan. Hello, everyone. Hello, uh, sir. How does it feel to be the top six of this contest? Excellent. Great. Feels really good. Yes. And I'm wondering, you know, it's it's not easy at all, given the way things are out here, as you can read from your faces. <laughs> so to make it more different and more competing, I have something very interesting for you. How about some market research? So let me give you a little bit of background what we are going to do now. How many of you love mobile handsets, mobile phones? <laughs> Making our life, life They're easier. They're millennials, sir. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. So, the briefing is, there's a company called Zappi Phone, and they are entering into the UE market, targeting youth and young birds, like all six of you in front of me. Their task is to understand and compete in the market, because we know for a fact that this particular category is very competing. It's a cutthroat competition category. So the task here is to come with a positioning strategy for Zappi mobile phone towards trying to lure the right target audience, which is going to be the youth out there. And especially when it comes to phone, this phone is going to be priced between 1,000 to 1,500 dirhams. So keeping that in mind, you need to come with a positioning strategy and also a catchy tagline which can target this kind of audience. The process is you need to do some interviews as this is market research. So we are gonna research respondents in a similar age group and you are going to conduct what we call as qualitative focus group interviews. It's going to be a 20 minute session and there are multiple sessions in it. First 20 minutes will be given to you to understand the research brief. The second task will be again for 20 minutes and that will be moderating the respondents. You have to talk to the respondents get the questions you want to answer to come with the insights. There'll be another 20 minutes, which is about generating the insights. After that comes presentation, right? So another 20 minutes given to you for doing the presentation, not making the presentation. All right. Clear? Definitely. Yep. Simple enough? You guys have never looked happy about any task. <laughs> you guys looking happy? Are you guys ready? Yes. 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 Before we go any further, team leaders will walk here and collect your project brief. Team A, Divya, here's your project brief. And Mustafa, good luck. Your 20 minutes of preparation start now. Go right ahead. Tell us more, what is the one key feature that really attracted you to that phone? It's a uh, camera for sure. Okay. Uh, the user experience is pretty seamless. What do you think is the one thing in your phone that you wish you had, but it doesn't have? Welcome back to Checkmate 2.0, hunt for the smartest young executive in the Middle East. All our smart young executives right now are sitting out there putting questions together, all ready to meet their focus groups. And our contestants are going to present in front of our judges for the second last time. <sighs> Pressure. Today's task is about market research and I think it's a combination of all the tasks we have done uh, throughout so far and it's like testing all of our skills in just one task. It was very exciting, but uh, since I have worked in the field of market research before, so it was like an advantage to me. I was um, a little nervous. You know, it was the first time playing the captain's role. So, but I was confident with the team that I got that I knew we would do a great job. So that kind of really helped uh, calm the nerves. Uh, let, let's uh, throw in uh, the hockey's part. Let's get the feelings out first. Mm -hmm. you know, we are a bit short on time. So let's uh, throw in, okay, what are your hobbies? And where do you most likely see yourself using your phone? Our target group was 18 to 30. So we had to frame the questions and ask them, as in what do you think about our new product which is coming in place? 
I today we all were doing the same thing. We were working on the same notes. Initially, I started to be. I wanted to be the moderator. Like I was the moderator between me and the interviewees. But then Mustafa took the thing, so he took up that job of moderation. And me and Nikhil were getting out more questions and getting out more uh, information from the interviewees so that we could position our product that way. Tell us what is the one key feature that really attracted you to that phone? It's a camera for sure. Okay. Uh, the user experience is pretty seamless. Okay, wonderful. What do you think is the one thing in your phone that you wish you had but it doesn't have? So it'd be nice to have a community where you have uh, so, you know, you have your interest put in and then you would have an automatic connection, so these are your options. You know, so it'll be like the interface that you have between the consumer and the client. For today's task, Divya was the leader. And in a team of three, I feel, honestly, that uh, you don't need a leader. You just need three determined people with a clear goal. It was just a team of three and everyone's pretty much well versed with what has to happen now. So it's quite an easy task and everybody took on their roles and it was a very smooth sailing team is what I would say. So now, okay, what are the three characteristics you think are most important to you in a phone? Those are the, basically the three things. You normally get annoyed by the speed. Fast charging and the, speed. Yeah, the speed, lagging, that really annoys like people yeah. and then the battery life and yeah, so. So nothing, nobody likes buffering. No, and I think the camera, camera is I think the most important part. Of, uh, yeah, I think, I think it, it, camera is the most important. For me, it also important. has to be light. I don't like to carry okay. the heavy phones. Right. I think the biggest challenge was definitely the time bomb that we had on our head. There was just 20 minutes to collect the information and prep a presentation. So putting everything into one presentation was even difficult because we were like mix of ideas. Thank you guys so much for all the time and information. It was lovely. My experience, the task now has been absolutely amazing. I learned quite a lot. We had a mentor as well who gave us really nice, insightful information about the task. You know, uh, focus on the content of the slide and it might be yeah. better if you guys discuss and keep going. When this slide is there, we can talk about each one. Talking will be the main task that yeah, we do. Absolutely. We can talk about inferences and it's emotional also. Hmm. I think we should have one slide that uh, sort of uh, just talks about it as a generic thing. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, so basically, and, obviously, it's emotional. This is like one generic slide. Yeah. Is Happy hmm. a partner for life? Can we just... Let's lock it down on that? Or yeah, yeah you, you could start off from there. Yeah. And then you can worry, and then you can give a trust. You don't have to write text there. You can even have a lightning strike. Yeah. 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 And yeah talk yeah. around it. No, that's why the per person who's presenting it, that's yeah. a it was good to see the teams working together. Their passion and energy was quite incredible. And the innovative ideas they were talking was quite interesting to see. I could see that Divya and Saras were working really well together. But do we just have one thing to talk about? Like, it's all about speed now. Yeah. Not the no, in the no, sense that we break it down. Yeah. All right, guys. Sorry to break up the party, but we're two minutes to go. Camera was very important to them all. It's given. So, apps. Apps are given with memory. You, you really start in the template, right? They devised the questions, they asked the questions, and they're finally putting their presentation together. These are the last few moments that they have before they present. I have so many hopes for this team. My fingers are crossed. Let's hope they really do well. So lightning fast as in quicker to get to where you want to go. All the tasks have been really fun. I've pretty much been cruising through the last three. So I knew this one was going to be a backbreaker. Uh, but it, it's been enjoyable, you know, getting to work with the guys. Uh, I've really had a good time and learned quite a bit. So our contestants have spoken to the target audience. The presentation is ready. What else is remaining? Just presenting. They've got 15 minutes. Catch you after a short break right here on Checkmate 2.0. Hunt for the smartest young executive in the Middle East. When we return, our teams will start their presentations. The judges are going to see how well they have researched and come to conclusions as to what their market wants from Zappi. You mentioned about reassurance. You mentioned about connectivity. You mentioned about value for money. How does this get interrelated as a positioning platform? Our judges are here. Our top six contestants are here. 
no matter what happens, you guys will walk away as the top six contestants out of Checkmate 2.0, hunt for the smartest young executive in the Middle East. As we know, it's a crucial, crucial day today. In the semi-finals, the last presentation before we get to the final round, we're going to ask Team B to please leave the room so that Team A can make their presentations. <laughs> Welcome Team A to give their presentation in 15 minutes. Welcome Team A. Good afternoon judges. Good afternoon. We're from Zappi and we are here with a tremendous value proposition. We are planning to enter the UAE market with the next big phone. And our target audience are people aged between 18 and 30. Now these people are simply the ones who drive innovation. They drive technology, they drive the economy and subsequently they fuel the world. Henceforth, we bring to you your non-stop friend. Moving on to the positioning of Zappi. The first step we decided was segmenting your market. We try to understand our target group, which was the youth, aka the millennial, that is the age group between 18 to 30 year olds. Since it was for the youth, we realized that these youth want a budget-friendly mobile phone. They're really looking for value for their money, and what we want to sell to them for value for money is a buddy. Hence the tagline, non-stop buddy. So we at Zappi believe and we want to ensure that only a one-time charge in a day will help you power through your day. Now we all know that every millennial and all of you would love to party. So why not get the party to your house in your phone? The Zappi phone will have a beat audio system which will be really loud and super crystal clear. How are we different from other, other competitors out there? What's so unique for us? So here I introduce you to our unique platform. It's called Zaplink. It's a pre-installed portal for all Zappi users to be connected to like-minded people who are around them. And I'd just like to conclude by saying that we at Zappi strongly believe it's not what we sell, it's what we make possible. Thank you, judges. We're open to questions. Thanks for the presentation. Uh, very interesting, the way it has been put up. I have one question. You mentioned about reassurance. You mentioned about connectivity. You mentioned about value for money. How does this get interrelated as a positioning platform? It's actually all linked. How do we enter your mind? Your mind space is very important to us and we want to ensure that the things you registered about Zappi, its USPs, its benefits and its characteristics. So in one way, we are entering your mind and registering your mind space with the benefits of using Zappi. Thanks for the presentation, very th well thought of. Um, my questions are, you tapped into the features of the phone, but then how, what's the functionality of those when they come together? Like what's the, um, the uniqueness of it? Now, all these phones that you have, they have a good speaker, they have a good camera, good memory space, GPS. All of these are simple benefits that are always provided to you when you go and make a purchase for a phone. But at Zappi, if you would have given some attention to the four characteristics were a good battery life, memory space, camera and music. You can't have excellent photos or great soundtracks on a phone which doesn't have a good memory space. Well fought and well played Team A. It's time for us to invite Team B in to make their presentation. Team B, please enter. So we're here to talk to you about Zappi. So let's get straight into it. Our tagline, performance like lightning. So what we understood from our market research was the biggest concern was the performance. Twinkle, what's the biggest issue you've got with your phone? See Mustafa, I'm usually a very busy woman. I run from morning to night and my phone really dies in the middle of the day and I don't really get time to even use my phone. So basically I'm with power banks and all. I don't really get time to even use my phone properly. Really? Let me take a look. There you go. How do you even navigate in this? Oh God, you know, you see the struggle is real. This is what we concluded from today's market research. Most of the people have the real struggle of battery life, uh, the photo quality, 
and definitely the accessibility. So the biggest issue, the biggest thing that brings comes about is that we, we were given a budget of 1,000 to 1,500. Now you can't have all the greatest features in the world packed into that form factor. We have to be a little realistic here. So Zappi is more like a reliable source, a reliable uh, tool that we are offering and that's, that is what stands out in Zappi. Now going on to the communication channel, we had an age group and the target group of 18 to 30 and everyone as of now uses social media. So what Zappi is doing is, we are going to advertise on social media. We focus on customer satisfaction. As our research said, we calculated the, all the qualitative data what we have received and that's what we focus on that social media. And as Twinkle rightly said, on the emotional message, we might lose our dads, our parents, our loved ones, but we are focusing Zappi as our companion. I'm sure performance like Lightning makes a lot more sense now that we've brought these features on board. Thank you. Thank you. Zappi performance like Lightning. Okay, please enlighten me with some questions which I have in my mind right now. First is, is it a personality upgradation or feature upgradation? Zappi, and when you ask them, what's the first thing that comes to mind? They say quick. It means Zappi means charge, so that is very correlated with the battery. Came we just asked them a simple question. We just asked them what the first thing comes to your mind when you listen to Zappi. They said fast, quick, lightning. That's what we focused on our tagline as. There's a difference between how do we deal and how do we feel. And right now, the message which I don't know how you're thinking, I'm getting is we talk about how do we deal, how do we feel. That is something which is missing right now. That's, that's what we understand. My question is on the media communication. Why was it exactly digital only? Why exactly? Is it a budget limitation or is it a behavior? Because the, the phone, I think, is going to be released in the UAE market only. Why, why the limitations on that? So it was emphasized in our brief that uh, Zappi would opt for a digital marketing uh, uh, solution. And so we thought, okay, so since this is clearly written focus here. focus on the entire whole concept. So we just focus on digital marketing because our age group was 18 to 30. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you, judges. Thank you, Team B. Wow. That was a tough one. Unlike most tasks, I couldn't really tell whether A is in the lead or B, but we're going to have to wait for the judge's verdict to find out, right? So, did they answer your questions exactly how you wanted them to? I'll say it was a good effort, uh, but remains to be seen. The judges are currently tallying their scores. All those opinions, all those judgments will now be in black and white and numbers. This also means we're this close to finding out who our finalists are going to be right here on Checkmate 2.0. Let's find out. Both our teams are done with their presentations. Team A and B might have missed out on explaining some key points that the judges were looking for, yet it seems like a close call between the two. Let's find out which team wins and who will not be joining the teams in the finals. Only on the next episode of Checkmate 2.0, hunt for the smartest young executive in the Middle East.